welcome to another water with carp and uh, as you can probably see I'm back on the carp pond that's right back on the pond for an overnighter and uh, 20, 25th of July and it's about 25 to 6 in the evening so at the moment I've just got uh, two rods out at the moment just over on the far side across the reeds I've seen a couple of uh, dorsals <laughs> and tails flicking out there along the edge so they're active they're about i'm just saying that one is topped just in front of me just off this stump right on that note i'm going to finish filming and i'm going to get some floaters out because that is too good of an opportunity to pass up anyway let's get the floaters out and see uh, if we can get them feeding sorry to cut that short we'll see you in a bit oh bloody things as you can probably tell i'm sat in my van ridge monkey light on and i am a mozzie magnet at the moment i'm gonna turn it off in a minute once i've done this little bit of video you join me it's quarter to ten in the evening uh the rods have just gone out and the bivvy's up uh no sooner i put the third rod out the heavens decided to open up and we had a few um a few rumbles in the sky and a few flashes of lightning uh by looking at the cloud and watching the flashes it looks like it has just passed over the top of me although it's still quite dark out there um, but you can see out behind me on the horizon, it's quite clear. So it looks like it's going towards Brafton Avon Trowbridge Way. And I'm saying that's just started to rain again. Um, I'm hoping the storm's just going to pass and uh, I can get on with my fishing. <laughs> I'm a bit of a wimp, me. Love thunder, but don't like being out on it. <laughs> Not when I'm fishing, anyway. I don't mind going out in the garden and watching it, you know, but uh, when there's carbon fibre rods involved, yeah. Yeah, not keen on that. So uh, call me a wimp, but uh, it is what it is. So like I said, yeah, sat on my biv. Thought I'd just do a little check-in. I seen that fish on the surface earlier. That's why I'd cut off quite quickly. There were a few shows. Um, didn't get anything feeding there on the, on the top, unfortunately. The ducks put pay to that. Uh, no sooner had I started, so never mind. I'm out, I'm fishing, so fingers crossed this storm will go over. We'll check in later anyway and... and uh, We'll see what develops, but um, yeah, fingers crossed it's going to pass. See you in a bit. Well, the rain stopped. And as you can see, there's a big, dark cloud <laughs> overhead. But it is, like I said just a minute ago, going away. Just want to leave the camera rolling just for a few minutes. Just to see if I could capture any of the lightning on film. And some of the rumbling. But when it started, it was literally right over the top of me just a minute. Well, about 10, 15 minutes ago. Said the mozzies are out in full force. It's humid. It's perfect thunderstorm weather, really. Did see it on the Met Office earlier. It did say warnings, yellow warning of thunderstorms, so I did know. But if I look over that side, it's clearing over there. And uh, that's, that's the big dark clouds. Look at that. So you can see where it's going over, over that way. And uh, it looks pretty clear behind me. So, like I said, I think it's just passing over. So it's nice to be back on the pond. Obviously I haven't been down for a little while since I had that little 10 pounder. Uh, it must have been, oh, I don't know off the top of my head, it must have been over a month ago now. Maybe a bit longer. Yeah, I know you would have seen my other videos where I've been to Blacklands Lake and Woodside Lake as well with Jamie. Just going around different places really, seeing what's about and what's out there. There is another one we want to look at, which is in Froome as well. So it's got some catfish in there and some carp apparently. Never caught a catfish, so that would be a bit of an eye-opener for me. Uh, the plan this evening was actually to go to Island Fisheries. Um, I wasn't expecting there to be space on the pond tonight 
Um, there's a couple of lads down here. We've been doing really, really well. Um, it's good to see as well because they're both nice chaps. And um, I thought they would have been on it. But they've been down, but they're not fishing. So, yeah, it was, it was a nice, nice surprise when I passed by. And I said, oh, pond's free. I'll jump on that then, save me a little bit of money. So, I think uh, I'm just going to sit here now and enjoy Foster's. I've got one, I've got a can here. And just see what develops throughout the night. I've been rolling now for, well, it's been on how much of this I edit it out. <laughs> been rolling now for about four to five minutes now, so there's not been any flashes on camera since I've had the camera out. So I think I'm uh, going to turn it off now. But you know what will happen. As soon as I turn it off, there'll be a few flashes and a few bangs. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see someone uh, through the night, hopefully with a fish in my hands. I'd like to get one of the bigger ones out. They have been coming out, like I said. Seem to catch all the smaller ones from here, so it'd be nice to have a bigger one. If not, I'll be uh, checking in the morning before I pack up to go home. Well, it's about five minutes after I spoke to you just a minute ago. And I said that the storm was passing over by the look of it. But I didn't look over to my left, did I? In my blind spot. And the heavens have just opened up. We've had a big fork, sheet, fork lightning go across the sky right out there. And a big rumble. I think we just caught that. We caught the back end of it anyway. And the heavens have opened up and it's started peeing down. Oh, I'm getting, getting wet, soaking wet here. I've got to put the window up a little bit. Hopefully we can see another flash or two. If there's any, if ever a time you don't want to catch a fish, um, it would be now. Ah, oh, getting absolutely soaked. Ah, oh, that's proper moody. Whee! See that? Oh, that's some proper moody over there. I think it's going to kick off now. So much of passing over. Oh, yeah, it's going to come back in the van. Best thing about this is, is my wet weather gear is uh, in the back of the van under something and under something else and under something else and under something else. So if I go out there, I'm going to get absolutely soaked. Along with everything else. Hey, see that one? That was a big one. I think I'm going to sit here for a minute. I ain't going nowhere. Right, I'm going to stop filming because my camera is getting absolutely soaking wet. I'm sure there's going to be a big storm ahead though now. Guys, it's 25 past 11 in the evening, and uh, I finally got in the bivvy. <laughs> um, the thunderstorms was on and off for a couple of hours. We had several strikes of lightning and um, lots of rumbles, uh, but yeah, it seems to have calmed down now and stopped, and got clear skies above now. So it looks like it's passed. So. Uh, I'm in the bath now, you know, hoping that uh, the thunder is going to bring me some action tonight. So uh, we're, we're, I know we said that a couple of times, but we'll um, check in throughout the night <laughs> or in the morning as if I'm still alive after his fucking mozzies. Oh, they're a nightmare. I'm going to turn that off. It's not making it any helpful. Anyway, mozzies are relentless in here, so I'm going to sign off now. And uh, like I said, we'll see you in the morning. Well, morning guys, um, yeah, got a fish, but it's not quite what I was after. I've um, started how I finished last time and 
got a tench. Come on the multi rig. Oh, I've had this one before, I've just got the split pin. Um, yeah, sorry, come on the multi rig. The key, key cray hard on bottom bait. Sorry, just a normal key bottom hard on bait. There we go. Nice little tench. Saves a blank, I suppose. Let's uh, pop her straight back. Oh, look. There's the victim. Or well, the bait would have tripped her up anyway. Right, let's get back. Morning, guys. It's quarter to ten. Uh, one just before I turn on the camera is flopped out right over, over there. Huh. Uh, they are. They have been very, very active uh, since last night, about eight o'clock this morning. I had a take on the right hand rod. Um, bobbing was dancing up and down, up and down. Very similar to what you'd get if you was having bream, um, but there are no bream in there. Um, and then, it, yeah, I thought it was a tench. I got it. Got some rod. Sorry. Noticed that the um, the line had gone slack. The line had gone slack right across the top of the water. So obviously, whatever it was was coming towards me. So I reeled down, and then uh, got it in close. But it was like I said, really, really erratic. And um, I thought I was playing a tench because it was just darting around everywhere. A little like a little small tench would do really. And then I got it right down to the front here just to have a have a look really. I didn't think for one second that it would be a carp. And yeah, it was, it was a little scamp. <laughs> um, it didn't seem very big it, in the hook pulled. Literally, as I brought it up to the top to have a look, it popped out and then darted off. I think it's probably the smallest carp I've seen in this lake. So yeah, it's a lost fish, but he was tiny. Ah, but never mind. Uh, apart from that, rods of, um, the rods have a few, a few bleeps on it, but yeah. Interestingly though, this morning, uh, after I had that tench, hopefully I get my hand in the way, I did last night. Um, when I had that tench last night, I checked my left hand rod over there and um, yeah, the, the tip was bent, I wouldn't say right over, but it was it was bending to, obviously to, to the left. And I thought, oh, that's a bit. And I remember last night I did have one single bleep on it and I looked, put my head out the biv to have a quick look and nothing. So I thought, well, well, I'll just leave it and see if it goes again. Didn't think much more of it. And then obviously this morning when I checked it, the rod's bent over on an angle a bit. So uh, yeah, I wound down and had a, you know, had a quick look, but it was a massive, and, and I mean a massive ball of weed on the end. Um, it felt really, really heavy. And every now and again, it kept slipping. So I thought, well, I might, there's a chance, small possibility I might have a fish which weaved itself up. And that's why it's so heavy and resistant. But there was no knocking or anything like that. So I was, I was quite doubtful about it. But yeah, all, all it was was just a big, like I said, a big bunch of weed when I got it in. So that was a shame. So it's, it's possible I got done last night on that rod. One that's just shown down there again, over there. So they are active. And they've been coming out, speaking to the lads last night. So um, it's just a shame I haven't got a bit more time, really. I would like to have done another night, but i got to, uh, like I said, I'm off to Derby later on for the weekend. So I've got to get packing up because my train's at one o'clock. Anyway, thanks for watching as always, guys, and um, I'll be sure to catch you on the next one. Tight lines.